Maybe not. Put her there. to go home. to do before it gets dark. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Unexpected as ever. And beautiful as ever. Won't you even ask why I've come? Or how I found you? Wouldn't get a straight answer anyway. Quite true. Used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Come outside. We can hold hands and stare at the sky, like some shitty two-crown romance. Never thought this day would come. Me and you, peace and quiet. Bees buzzing, birds chirping. I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm. Damn it, you win. This time. Ha! How'd that start, anyway? Our duels in wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of Vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both groan-worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. You know, feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm, I must say, I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> Was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. Yen, back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes, although there's one thing missing. Namely? I shall give you a hint. It's large, white, has four legs, category taxidermy. Oh yeah, the unicorn. Fine, you can bring it down here. I knew you'd see things my way. 
Liking Tucson so far? Hmm. The landscape's lovely, and the towns are charming, no question about that. But? But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. Might need to think about changing your color palette. Off-white and pea-green, for instance. <laughs> and I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. I think I shall simply stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks. At regular intervals. Bring you whatever you want. Brought quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the orchid. A widower for half a year. Huh. <laughs> Always thought you too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I came here. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. Force yesterday, partners today, and tomorrow. Love and peace, first protect the city. Long live the silver and master leave. Sir, we received a shipment of wine from the Belgard vineyard, I believe, with kind regards from Madame Matilda and Monsieur Liam. I had the barrels unloaded and stored in the cellar to the right of the entrance. Thanks. Take a look when I have a moment. Splendid. I was told to expect a subsequent delivery five days hence. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Feels like by investing a bit of coin, I could make the house more functional. Indeed. Momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general renovations, you might begin to consider such things as a new bed, or additional armor stands, or weapon racks. Also, some new furnishings, and a fresh coat of paint on the walls would do much to improve the guest quarters. Was wondering about the guest room. Not that I'm expecting company, but... Oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast a comfortable guest room. What if someone were to drop by unannounced? Yeah, sooner we start on that, the better. I can tell a man of action immediately. I'll see to it myself. The room shall be ready in two days, in my opinion. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Always wanted one. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is supremely important. But say the word, and I shall order you a bed from the carpenters who craft comfort for the court. Great. Order me a fine bed, please. Think I deserve one at my age. True indeed, true indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in place by this time tomorrow. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? If you don't mind, I'd rather postpone. Of course, sir, as you... Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. Mm. Provided we preserve the grounds Beauclerc stylings, and on condition that you are not considering something like, um, digging fast holes in which to store monster carcasses or bury cursed treasure, I am very much in favor, sir. You know, Roach, my horse? Well, we've been through a lot together. And since I finally got a decent place to stay, I think she deserves one too. Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, and I'll have them start working on it at once. 
My roach deserves the best. Have them refurbish the stables. I shall get to work at once. Yet finding workmen and completing construction takes time, though likely no more than two days. Will you be needing anything else, sir? So, sometimes I have to brew a potion, but I can't find the herbs I need growing anywhere nearby. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife, seems the ideal place to cultivate herbs. In fact, it's roomy enough to plant shrubbery. Good idea, Barnabas Basil. Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have sown the first seeds in two days' time. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Feels like by investing a bit of coin, I... I agree thoroughly. With every... Could use another weapon rack. I know of a carpentry shop in town which crafts the hump... Fine. What are the racks? Of course, at once. At most one day for them to arrive, is my estimation. Is there anything... anything else? Along the path, I've often picked up well-crafted, beautifully ornamented armor. So I agree. It would lend the place a certain witch's air. Yes. Just please make sure they're solidly made. It goes without saying, sir. By this time tomorrow... Is there anything... No, what? Changed my mind. I shall be glad to... Up Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Foes yesterday, partners tomorrow, and tomorrow, lovebirds tomorrow. Long Even a horse drops if you ride it at a constant gallop. Master Liam and Maid Matilda. Why, they'll have a tail to hold their kitty's rat. Grace, no fuss! Water, no wine! Citizens, a plea from Her Illustrious Highness. The Ducal Chancellery is swarmed each day beyond capacity. Droves arrive to demand compensation for the damage brought throughout the city by the Vampire Horde. All are henceforth asked to submit their pleas in writing. Written requests shall be dealt with in due course and in the order submitted. Scribes will be available for a part of each day to assist in the drafting of requests. However, scribes shall only do so for the clearly dim-witted. Count Borges de Salfares cordially invites all to attend a lecture regarding the extinction of rare species and the dangers this represents to the natural order. Admittance free of charge! Greetings. I hope your search goes well. Would you craft something for me? Of course.
Farewell. Good luck on the path. The Witcher, Geralt of Rivia, awarded the Beatles the Nefera Medal for slaying the horrid beast of Beauclair. Citizens, Beauclair, to saint wherever you are. You are kindly reminded that by decision of the city council, you are requested to refrain from spilling sewage into the streets of the Keep old field between 10 o'clock in no the morning props. and 8 at night. Muscles. Oh. <laughs> Greetings. Geralt, there you are. So, our painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do tell. <laughs> Not exactly what I imagined. I believe I posed with all my clothes on. Clearly remember that in fact. Some other details are off too. Invalid as a criticism. I depicted you in a more flattering state. The painting has drawn crowds, aroused a great deal of interest. Can see that. Anyway, some advice for the future. Warn your subjects about your intentions. Your next model might not be so forgiving. You don't like it. I'm hurt. Perhaps you'd care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it, I will, at a special price. Why not? It'll make an interesting memento, though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. <laughs> Indeed. Few have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I sometimes go hungry as a consequence. Mm, all right. At least this way I'll be able to control who sees it. Thanks. Welcome to Gianfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? I'd like to change some coin. By all means. Come by later. Effort at your service, sir. Oh, believe. What can I do for you? Served in Perak Perak how you
do you get for all that work? A crook in your back wants your on in here. The white wolf himself. It's better than stew, but stew you have to chew. Uh, 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 uh. Wine is better than stew, for stew you have to chew. I do not know how I will ever repay your witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I got it short. Yes. Years of suffering. Do you know what was worse than the hunger? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices. To sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now, but to you, well, perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Renovations coming along all right? I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought, with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed, and with the estate looking more beautiful than ever, it might be appropriate to commemorate the moment. Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sapramento, the 1250 vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, but it is here, and we've course to open it today. And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed, even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the flames engulfed Baron Mahefkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. In this regard, Baron Rossel was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. 
Baron Rossell had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Mm, that'd be bad. This Sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks. A witcher. This one around here, full time. some. This one's full too. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Full. Hmm. Strange. Hmm. That's awful pretty. It'll look great in the house. Wipe your boots before you take another step. Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. What? Oh, I'm just jesting. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. Spoon like this. When you set a place, where's it go? My, oh my. It seems rather a fanciful bouillon spoon. Or a key of some sort. There's a note here. Yeah, note led me here. Any idea what the key might open? Never seen it before. But you might search the cellars. The previous owner left all sorts of knickknacks there. See you later. Take care, sir. 
a sweet shining sun. Crazy. Is that ever a cloudy frown? A witcher. You could use it. I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home, as I brewed as a white? Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted ox was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks, but I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white? Yes. But ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. <laughs> 